I saw a Dublin contemporaries just say a statement that, that Dublin is a vibrant city with a great uh, cultural imagination. You walk around this exhibition and just the, the things you see just stretch your mind um, and the, the creative talent that's been brought together in one place is just fantastic. We've had an opportunity to exhibit artworks, very contemporary artworks about what's happening now in the world. There's really 114 artists with 114 opinions in this show. It's been nice to get a lot of different sorts of people coming through the building that are curious about not only the work that we have on show but also the building itself. We're really proud to be the education sponsor for Dublin Contemporary because we really see education as being broader than just reading and learning. It's also about broadening the imagination and the minds of our young people in the more holistic, artistic experience and we feel that's a great way of encouraging innovation and imagination with students. I think every single person who's come into the building has probably been affected by the education programme with a 10 minute talk or with a highlights tour. You know, we've got tiny contemporary and baby contemporary. We have three year olds, five year olds come and do a workshop and then you see them going around the building with their parents looking at art. That's really exciting. And I think the perception of an exhibition will have changed thanks to the support of KPMG and the whole education programme. We've had a great example of a student from CBS Westland Row who is our partner school with KPMG. Uh, Chloe has been on a week's work experience with Dublin Contemporary and she's really had a, an amazing insight into the intricacies of the world of art and in, in terms of what goes on behind the scenes. With Lynn we sat down and planned a programme. What we wanted to do was really just have the students have an experience of contemporary art which they hadn't ever really had before. I thought it was like going to be lectures all the time, it's not down stuff, but when we actually went to it, it was quite good. We went down in the streets, we done stuff in the building itself, and they had completely different art to what we do here. And a squid on the ground, the squid made of uh, clay. And then the mirrors, do you remember the mirrors? That bed was the big huge bed, it's very interesting. Mm. You're allowed on it and jump up and down. And... There's some exhibitions you can't go near and stuff like that, so some, it's good the way you can go near, go near the exhibitions. and. Get to, get to have a look at it better. We haven't just done programmes within the building, we've gone out to schools, we've been able to run a young curators programme. We ran a programme that enabled us to uh, work with uh, people with Alzheimer's and their families. The feedback has been amazing, actually in the press and then also um, among the family members and people who came to us because it's the first of its kind um, in the country. Without funding there's just no way we'd be able to do it and that kind of stuff really creates an impact. We didn't know it was going to be such a success. It's been phenomenal. And again, that's with the support of KPMG. It's tough times out there at the moment, and every penny is, is hard earned and you know, spend it very carefully. But I think this is something we do have to continue to support and spend in terms of supporting arts and supporting wonderful projects like Dublin Contemporary. I think it is part of KPMG. I think our people expect us of it and our clients welcome it. I think we've got to continue to reach out and look for these kind of projects to support and help. It's an important part of what we do. Thank you.